Hey boys, welcome back to some more Broncos 2022 career mode here. It's going to be round 8 of the season where uh, we're going to be taking on the Rabbitohs in this contest. So yeah, we've um, we've had a we've had a good start. We've had a good start. I literally don't know if we won the last game um, because I had a bit of a backlog and I know we started the season great, but I think we had a... Did we have a couple of losses in in amongst the, the wins? And then I know at the start here, I did literally just look at the ladder, but I was I was zoned out. I was just sort of looking up into the top corner of my room and uh, and doing the intro without looking at the... Without looking at it. So, um, I don't remember. <laughs> so, why did I bring it up? It's a great point. It's a great point. It's a great question. All I can say is that it was just some some airtime needed to be filled, and I thought, you know what? Give them give them something. Give them a little anecdote of uh, what's behind the scenes. What's behind the scenes? But uh, we're we're getting this game underway here. It's it's a it's a poor start to the South Sydney boys. We're gonna get a, a great chance to press the attack. No, we're not because uh, Reynolds throws an absolute stinker. I don't even know what the what the play was there. Jake Turpin back on the inside. I don't know. That was that was all shambolic. So we'll all we'll all have a reset here. But the Rabbitohs give us straight straight back. And uh, actually, this is a big contest. <laughs> this is a this is a big game. Adam Reynolds taking on his former club. I uh, big shot, big shot coming in. Tommy, I think it was Tom Burgess, George Burgess. Who? Which Burgess is still at the at the Rabbitohs? <laughs> I don't know, dude. There's too many Burgers. Way too many Burgers for my liking. But uh, big shot coming in on, I think, Carrigan got uh, belted. But, uh, yeah, Reynolds taking on his club here. It'll be, uh, oh, it's it's always it's always good fun. You know, there's always a bit of, a bit of niggle, a bit of rivalry there. Um, you know, you know, you know, Cody Walker's going to be at his, at his absolute pesting best when, uh, when Reynolds takes on the, when Reynolds takes on the, on the rabbits for sure. Um, but it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good fun. But, uh, 15 minutes into this game, it's been sloppy. We've had a couple of a couple of nice little little plays, but it's been it's been a sloppy contest from both sides to open proceedings. It's wet weather, so it doesn't actually affect the game at all. But we can we can you know pretend it does. There's a great offload there. Payne Haas gets it to Kelly. Kelly almost busting through, but again the the defense was there. But we got a nice little chance here inside play. Beautiful. Oh man, that was so it was so good. The defense was even better. I think, it, who was that? Tatola came across. Very annoying because it worked a treat. We had them on the back foot. There were a couple of offside players. And the inside play, it was just open for uh, Selwyn Cobbo. But couldn't get there. But down the sideline, Azarko throws the offload. Oh, man. He just ricochets off one of the Rabideau defenders. And uh, once again, we're going to uh, we're going to concede the uh, the possession there. It's Herbie down the sideline, throws the pass a little bit too early, and that's the other play. I forgot all about Anthony Milford. Although Milford is in trouble and may not actually play for the Rabbitohs this year, so that's now that's a big thing with Milford may not actually play, which is disappointing. Honestly, oh man, it's. Uh, as much as it, you know, it's been frustrating as a Broncos fan to see Milford play as poorly as he has at the Bronx. I've been I've been itching for Milford to go and go to another club to try and get back some of that form because I mean I love Milford. He's he's a great player to watch. I mean, no matter what you say, he, he on his like when he was in form, he was one of the best halves running around. I mean, I don't care what other, I don't care what anyone says. Like, you know, he's been in terrible form of late, but when he was on, when he was playing good footy, I know some people might argue that he he was never good, but I I think that's BS. I think he was he was very, very good. Don't know what happened, but I was very keen to see him go to the Rabbitohs. Um, not that the Rabbitohs are my team, but I was just keen to see him go to another club and and hopefully hopefully get back to get back to what he can do. But uh, it looks like it looks like that may not happen, which is which is very disappointing. And uh, but we'll see. Uh, you know, it's if who knows? Uh, the, you know, <laughs> off field indiscretions just they're, they're a lottery. They're a lottery as to what happened. They're a lottery as to what is going to happen. So, you know, we can't really say too much on it. 
And uh, this game so far has been a bit of a... I said at the start was a bludger, but the, the full first 40 was an absolute stinker. The Rabbitohs are going to get a chance early. Oh, big shot there. Ka Kinan Palacea is going to come up with a high shot on Kalamatangi. The uh, the big boys getting together and, uh, yeah, penalty ensues as uh, Tane Milne kicking goals. Uh, not the... Well, I, he probably can actually kick goals. He is pretty talented, Tane Milne, but... Uh, Probably not the first choice, I would say. They do have Latrell, Latrell Mitchell at the back, but uh, yeah, two points to zip. So finally, the uh, the deadlock has been has been eroded, so to speak. As Milford is going to put the kick downfield here, as Zarko is going to take that one. So he's still who's out still? Um, Gatoni is still in the centres. Corey Oates and ha uh, Herbie. Uh, who's out? Tess, Tessie, Tessie's out. Or maybe he was back, but I forgot to put him back in the team. I can't, I can't remember. Um, but a nice, a nice little run there. So he's starting to get a little bit of, bit of momentum. Four tackle now. Going to swing it to Rabadi at the back. Reynolds gets hold of it. Nice ball across to Herbie. Herbie on to Corio. Down the sideline. Takes on the fullback. But Latrell comes up with the with a big one-on-one -on -one stop on the on the big fella there. Corio. I hope to see Corio actually get a spot on the wing again for the Bronx. Because um, I think it was a little harsh how he sort of got dropped out of nowhere. He's... He's honestly one of the better wingers running around, but I don't. I, again, it's, it's the Bronx. They've been a they've been a rabble the last couple of years. So things hopefully can turn around for them. As uh, ball across there, absolute shocker. That's our bread and butter play, but uh, that time just uh, yeah, they, uh, just not slick. I don't know. This whole game just is not uh, not quite coming uh, up with the goods. It was meant to be a bit of a thriller, a bit of a blockbuster a clash. I mean, the scoreline's a thriller, but uh, the actual contest, the actual uh, the actual footy on play here is a bit disappointing. As Albert Kelly down the left here, nice pass across to Tony Staggs. Got to go, got to get him into the game. He is he's definitely our most dangerous player in this team. Is Rabadi onto Tessie? No, Tessie's our 14. Who who's out? Did I? Oh no. Maybe I just went for a bit of a difference. This Turpin, he's just got to fool them out of dummy half. I mean, that uh, that's just, I guess, how we're going to score here. Who is that? Latrell, lazy out of dummy half. I think Damien Cook bit the dummy. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's been a bludger, and I guess that's that's as good as we're going to get for the try there. Turpin just just sneaks over and, and scores. So, yeah, we'll take it. Six points to two. Uh, still plenty of time left for either team as Kelly double pumps. Beautiful ball. Kobe Hetherington tries to get it out. Comes off the defense and Payne Haas is able to swoop on it. So we get another another six to go here. As uh, now Tommy Flegler gets it onto Selwyn Cobo. Cobo up the guts there. Starting to, starting to break him through. Starting to, starting to get some uh, nice little momentum shifts here as Kelly great ball across Kobe Hetherington has come, to, come off the bench and is just st stampeding Zarko puts the kick Hetherington chasing oh he deserved that try oh he deserved that try Hetherington he's come off the bench and he's just turned this game on its head and uh, right here Zarko puts in the little kick Hetherington was there just didn't quite get a Far out, Milford. Milford saves the day of all people. And, uh, oh, it would have been a nice try too. So disappointing not to score that one. Skatoni down the left here gets a pass across. That was good defense. Usually off those scrum plays, it's a, it's a sure thing. But uh, they actually marked up pretty well there. It's, it's Tessie now scrambling. Cross field, throwing dummies, throwing, throwing all sorts. Gets the offload. Ricochets. Jordan Ricky is going to score. Another scrappy, another ugly looking try. But uh, again, it was, it was a good pickup from Ricky here uh, in wet weather footy. Bodies around. Swoops it up with the left mid and that uh, it's not it's not going to guarantee the win, but it's definitely put us in a in a pretty a pretty good position in this game. As uh, Reynolds is going to miss a uh, a fairly easy kick, but you know it is what it is. As uh, Tessie, he's he's been good off the bench as well. So I guess yeah, I don't know. I must have. Um, Oh, beautiful work. Albert Kelly now down the sideline. Gets it onto Azako. Azako puts the kick in once again. I probably shouldn't have kicked that one. Um, it was good play, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I must, have, I must have just switched it up with... Instead of... Um yeah, I don't... I don't obviously don't have uh, Gamble on the bench. Turpin's playing the full 80. And uh, Tessie is coming on as that sort of, you know, running lock. Just a little X factor. Uh, as Cobo, oh no, he's going to come up with a PCL injury there. So, 
not uh, not what we want to see from our from our fullback, but we we have options. I mean, Tessie is on the bench. We have plenty of outside backs we can shift into fullback. Not no, I mean, Cobo is starting to really find his form. So disappointing. Hopefully he's not out for too long, but uh, not uh, not not the worst position to lose, I guess, in the in this context. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can just get through the rest of this game here. Katoni looking looking dangerous, gets a pass. Jordan Ricky now bumps off one, gets the pass across. Corey Oates is going to get wrapped up, and that's gonna that's gonna be a ball game. So a sloppy win, but uh, we do get the win at a cost of Cobo. Hopefully not a long term injury, but uh, regardless, we we get the chocolates over the rabbits. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.